dear students in this lecture we will discuss about rate of convergence for bisection method okay suppose let us assume that fx equal to 0 be an algebraic or transcendental equation okay and suppose that alpha be the exact root root of that equation given equation fx equal to 0 that is if alpha be the exact root definitely value of f alpha must be equal to 0 okay now how bisection method how this method is working suppose this is x axis this is y axis and suppose this is the given curve suppose this this is the given curve y equal to fx okay and when this curve crosses the x-axis means this is the exact root and so here we assume this exact root is root is alpha okay now by the intermediate value pro property first we locate the position of the root okay with the help of intermediate value property and suppose here we have this is the point xn minus 1 and suppose this is the point xn okay here root is uh, suppose this root is lies between xn minus 1 and xn and this is the exact root alpha okay here we assume let xn be differ from alpha by n error epsilon n where this epsilon n is very small okay normally errors are always in numerically numerical analysis error are the quantity which are very very small small okay that is xn is differ from alpha by an error en means what is here we are assuming epsilon n is equal to xn minus alpha okay that is we can write it equivalently we can write it epsilon n plus alpha or also we can write it here we can write here x n minus 1 in similar fashion we can write it epsilon n minus 1 plus alpha if I write this here x n plus 1 that is epsilon n plus 1 plus alpha okay now we have these relations x this is the value of xn here xn minus 1 suppose this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 okay now by the bisection method here root is lies between xn minus 1 and xn xn 1 means now we bisect this interval okay for getting first approximated root suppose by the bisection method we know that
x n plus 1 what is the value of x n plus 1 what is the value of first approximated root this is, we have to bisect this interval that is x n minus 1 plus x n upon 2 what is x n plus 1 <coughs> Here we can replace xn plus 1 by this, this quantity. This is equal to epsilon n plus 1 <coughs> plus alpha is equal to xn minus 1. xn minus 1 means alpha plus epsilon n minus 1 plus xn means alpha plus epsilon n upon 2 okay now we simplify this that is epsilon n plus 1 plus alpha is equal to now sum of this 2 alpha and 2 alpha divided by 2 means alpha plus alpha n minus 1 plus epsilon n upon 2 okay now these two are cancel out what we get here we get here epsilon n plus 1 is equal to suppose epsilon n is the common term this is the common term and what we have here 1 plus epsilon n minus 1 upon epsilon n okay <clears throat> here here epsilon n and epsilon n minus 1 are very small quantities means ratio of these two errors epsilon n minus 1 and epsilon n which also be very very small means we can neglect this term that is <coughs> epsilon n plus 1 and this is approximately equal to <coughs> 1 by 2 into epsilon n okay or we can write it epsilon n plus 1 is equal to approximately equal to a into epsilon into the power 1 where a is equal to 1 by 2 okay means what we have here epsilon n plus 1 which is approximately equal to a into epsilon n to the power 1 okay actually in this problem what we have to do what we have to find out actually my question is this what we have to find out here okay here we know that <coughs> any iterative any iterative is set to of order k or has the rate of convergence k if k is the largest positive real number for which a finite constant a is not equal to 0 such that epsilon what we have to find out epsilon n plus 1 equal to a epsilon n to the power k okay actually we have to find out this value of this k which is a order k or rate of convergence we have to find out rate of convergence okay and here epsilon n is a very small uh, be an error in here epsilon n be the error in k iteration and we know that epsilon n is equal to xn minus alpha and also f alpha is equal to 0. Now we have to compare 
सपोज दिस इज द इक्वेशन नंबर फोर नेक्स्ट वी कंपेयर नाउ वी कंपेयर इक्वेशन फोर एंड फाइव एंड दिस इज वी नो दैट दिस इज वी नो दैट for any iterative method and any iterative method is said to be of order k or has the rate of convergence k if k is the largest positive real number for which the constant this constant which is a not equal to defined in such a way epsilon n plus 1 equal to a epsilon n to the power k okay now when we compare equation 4 and 5 we find out here value of k is 1 okay that is here we can say that is rate of convergence of bisection method is linear okay here value of k rate of convergence is 1 okay i think all you have understand the rate of convergence for bisection method okay if you have any query queries then you can write down your queries in comment box okay and and thank you very much have a nice day and bharat mata ki jai